Hey everyone, I'm back with some card shares for you all today. I'm going to share with you what I used and then I'll show you the projects. Uh, so I actually spent some time with my crafty friend Carla um, this past weekend, which I don't know when this video will go up, but um, <laughs> uh, she hosts a, like a, I guess a crop. Really, anybody, can, you can bring whatever you would like to work on. I usually work on cards typically. Um, as does she, I think, um, if she's not working on a mini album or something like that. But anyway, uh, there's seven ladies this time around, including myself. Um, so we usually get together on a Saturday that Carla can um, schedule for us um, at her office. And I brought my um, Tracy Hay stamps with me. Um, I have a number of cards to make for the next few months birthdays, anniversaries, um, Mother's Day, that kind of thing. So um, I brought a few stamps um, and some in images that I'd already stamped out and decided I was going to color. Um, so I used this um, Tracy Hay You Rock stamp set, this um, Roarsome stamp set, uh, and then these two are from her own website. So Sentimental and having it all, both of these were used. Um, actually, I used this little stitch thing here, this heart, and then happy birthday and an happy anniversary. And then I used this long little stitch line here in that one. Um, I did use this die here. This is a Impression Obsession die from Anna White. This is Crazy Stitch Set, and I used the big rectangle here. And then these are the paper pads that I used. Um, this one is uh, from Copictopia. I think I... Uh, Christine had attended our last crop that Carla hosted. And I think I got this from the Dirty Door Prize um, package that we do. Um, where everybody brings a gift and then we um, basically draw numbers and you get go pick it up. Um, and somebody can steal the gift from you. So um, I think this is the paper pad that I got. And Christine is the owner of the shop. And um, she was actually attending the crop that day, um, as was her daughter. And then um, this one is a Doodlebug paper pad. I was looking for something with the colors of the ink that I used. And this paper pad had a plaid in here. And you'll see it on my card. Uh, and then I also used... Uh, I use my Copics, but I don't have the colors out because I was traveling. So I put them away to bring them home um, and didn't write down the colors. So sorry for that. But um, this is a sparkle pen from Spectrum Noir. So this is the one that's clear, but has the glitter in it. Um, this glaze pen I used as well. It's a black one. And then um, I used some stickles and some Nouveau drops. This is the clear Nouveau crystal drops. So here's the first card. This one is a birthday card for my uh, brother-in-law, one of them. Uh, he's turning 60 um, this coming month. So I thought I would <laughs> use the dinosaur. <laughs> um, I love the, the sentiment. Um, so these are colored with Copics. And then there's the stickles and the glaze pen that we use. He's on his eyes as well. I don't know if the um, camera will pick up the sparkle pen, but it's in the blue hearts that line his um, head and his backside here. So um, this is the inside. And this card is a unusual size. It's, it's four and a quarter, I believe. Yeah, four and a quarter wide by four and a half tall. It just happens to be how I um, happen to um, stamp the images on it. Um, so I wanted something that would fit to the front of the card pretty well. So I cut it down. But it fits in an AT size envelope still. So that's beautiful. So let me put that over to the side. The other one I did was my um, anniversary card. So got these two dinosaurs here. And again, these are colored with Copics. And you can see the green doodlebook paper, green and purple. Um, doodlebook paper. And I did use the crystal drops on the hearts here. So this is all Copic colored. And then this is the inside. And then of course, oh, I didn't show you guys the back. So I just um, used some of the scraps for the back and stamped it on the back and signed it. Um, same with this one. Little uh, 
heart and then I signed it. So those are the two cards I had to share with you all. Um, I had a lot of fun. I, um, I think our next one is in June. So I'll be making some more projects, um, for the next few months, um, related to, you know, birthdays and such. Um, and some Mother's Day. I hope I can get those in before the actual date. Um, but yeah, those are my projects to share. I hope you enjoyed them. And I hope you're doing okay. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.